spontaneous toy reviews. Spontaneous toy reviews. OMG, we're going live again from the Toy Wizard Facebook page for another spontaneous toy review. I'm Lauren Stone. I am the editor-in-chief of toy-wizards.com, and I'm going to talk about a toy today. So with these, um, how do I put this? Okay, so with these reviews, it's not necessarily what's the, the newest toy. We, you know, had do articles about those. These are toys that I have hanging out in my everyday that either inspire me to go, this is ridiculous, it needs to be discussed, or this is under-discussed, so it needs to be talked about, variety of words, or this is just weird and everyone needs to see it because my toy collecting friends, you may not have this in your everyday. Some of these toys are specific to children and some of them are specific to my collecting niche, which is a combination of traditional, you know, boy toys and girl toys and collectibles and tchotchkes. So let's get started because I am limiting these to 10 minutes. So let's get to the point. So for today's um, experiment, yeah, let's go mystery science theater on it. For today's experiment, um, I am going to discuss a, an action figure. This is legitimately an action figure from um, the, let's see, what year is this? I want to say maybe 2015, 2014, 2015 show called Miraculous Ladybug, The Adventures of, um, or uh, Miraculous, The Adventures of Ladybug and Cat Noir. So here's the toy we'll be discussing, and I'll talk about her in more detail in a moment. So for those of you who aren't aware of the show, just to break it down, total kids show. It airs on Nickelodeon. It's, um, it's from France. It's dubbed into English. It very well could be Incredible Magical Girl, uh, an Incredible Magical Girl show, but it is so aged down and formulaic that it borders on painful. And see, this is where creeps like me not literally me, I did not write any fan fiction of the show, but this is where creeps like me will open the world more and make fan fiction about shows like these because you give us this amazing playground with fantastic characters and you do literally nothing with them. And that's where the writer's mind goes a little nuts. So with Miraculous Ladybug, it's a magical girl show. I'm just gonna use the word girl. Don't at me. A magical girl show about a 14-year-old girl named Marinette whose parents own a bakery in, in uh, France. In France, and she is given this power with an earring to transform into miraculous ladybug. The guy she has a crush on, um, Adrian, transforms into Cat Noir. So Adrian doesn't have a thing for Marinette, but Marinette has a thing for Adrian. And when they're transformed, Cat Noir has a thing for Ladybug, but Ladybug has a thing for no one. The, sh the, the shtick of the show is there's supposed to be gender swaps of Spider-Man and, um, and uh, uh, oh my God, Catwoman. Spider-Man and Catwoman. So moving on to the show. Hey, Norbert, you didn't miss anything yet. I didn't start reviewing the toy. So let's talk a little bit about the figure itself. No, it's talking about Miraculous Ladybug, Norbert. Miraculous Ladybug. So I found this figure. I'm just going to lift her up. She is fantastic. This is a spectacular figure. And I'm going to talk about a couple reasons why in a minute. I'm just going to talk about where I found it first. So this is 2015 Zag Toys, which is a European toy company, to my understanding. This um, is out of print now. It originally retailed for $24.99. I got it at a convention for $12. I'm sorry, $10. $10. The, um, the gentleman selling them at his booth had three or four, he said, during the whole show. He sold the first two for 20, knocked the price down to 15, and then I bartered him down to 10 because it was the last one. So I'll give you cash. Let me just have it. It'll make my daughter so happy. And I gave this to my daughter um, because, like I said, the show is cute, but I don't, I don't watch it on my own. It's really aged down. It is a preschool show. This is a children's show. Not to say you can't get something out of children's show. I'm just saying this is a children's show. So um, it doesn't really do it for me. It's really too bad. I wish it was aged up to, like, the Sailor Moon age because then we could have more fun with it. But that's another story. So this is Miraculous Ladybug. And... I just want to show you guys, like, look at the face. This show is um, 3D. It's 3D uh, computer animation. And there is no doubt in my mind that the toy company got the 3D assets to the show when this toy was made because it's perfect. Like, just think back to all 
the terrible Sailor Moon toys that we had back when I was younger, and you wanted a Sailor Moon doll, we straight up called them frog face. Like there was the early Sailor Moon dolls that were American from Irwin Toys just had these just, if, if there's a word worse than ugly, atrocious, upsetting, just not okay faces that, like I said, fans to this day call them frog face Sailor Moons. If um, the Italian Sailor Moon dolls and the Japanese ones did have much better faces, so it's not like we weren't capable of better faces, but this is just, this was just life at the time. So little girls who are fans of this show, come on, Marinette, focus, get this, get this gorgeous, like, look, look at her cute little tushy, and she has her um, yo-yo weapon strapped to her butt. She's absolutely, completely articulate. Her arms move in any way you need them to. Her legs completely poseable, bendable. She's just the most beautiful, beautiful toy. I love the face. And like I said, if when I was when I when I was a youngin, if we had toys that looked like this, I mean, what an amazing reality. My daughter, of course, she's four years old. She doesn't know this is just a toy. And she's like, Mommy, why do you keep trying to steal my toy? <laughs> like because it's too nice for you because <laughs> it's too nice for you that's why i'm taking your toy because you're just going to chew on it and she's too pretty so yeah there is a fight in my house for this toy um but then again my daughter tries to play with my vintage sailor moon wands and so that's the mother-daughter battle that'll be forever but there's a catch as much as i am touting this toy right now and showing just how gorgeous it is and all the details and everything here that's honestly just stunning there you can see her face a little better everything on this toy is just spectacular there's a catch there's a stick to this toy that is awful and i am going to show it to you right now so it comes this is i'm going to call it this like it comes with this tambor <laughs> it comes with this tambourine thing this is awful. So it makes sounds. Let's see if the battery, it comes with watch batteries. You guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, here. Theme song. So it makes some sounds. Um, and let's see, I know there's a button on it somewhere. Oh yeah, it's on the outside. So on the outside, so it plays the theme song. And then I know it does something else. Look. Hold on, look. That's the transformation yell. Tiki spots on, and then she transforms. That's the attack sound. So these are this is music from the show. But what we have happening here, yes, we've prevailed. We have won. Sailor Moon has healed the town again. So what's happening here? Okay, okay, shush. Oh my God, pressure. I'm so embarrassed. Okay, so what you're supposed to do with how do these two combine? This is what you're supposed to do with this toy, and this is where it's such a detriment. And I'm using the word detriment. You're you're supposed to stick her, this is awful. You're supposed to stick her in here. So it doesn't, it doesn't work. You turn her sideways like this. Yeah, there was a part two. This isn't just me. This isn't just me J-O-ing about a great toy. This there's more. So she doesn't even fit. She doesn't even fit. I don't know like what happened or if the toy calcified or if I'm like supposed to warm it, the warm it under, put it under warm water and like the batteries will kill me. Like, I don't know if this is a death trap. So the way this is advertised is you stick her in here. Oh, maybe that's where the hands go. I'm so confused. So basically you're supposed to stick her in here and stick her in here and put her arms in here. <laughs> and the idea is that you just roll her. That's, that's what I'm trying to get to. The idea is that like, you, she hangs out in this toy and you roll her. And then the sound, then it makes the sounds. So that's supposed to be the in action. Um, she never does any sort of like cartwheely things in the show. She's never surrounded by red light or red action or red fire. Um, there's nothing in, in context to justify this direction of toy. Um, I really love that it makes sounds. I've talked about how modern sound chips are some of the best technology stuffed into toys today. Uh, so all of that is very, very good stuff. But this is just the most ridiculous hook. Like, this is how they're like, all right, we're going to sell the toy like this. We're going to stick her in here. Instead of you just playing with this 
phenomenal object. You're going to shove her in here where she doesn't fit. You're going to roll her. She's going to make the sounds and that's the action. So um, for all this toy, for all of its miraculous, spectacular, incredible usage, um, just has this awful hook that to me is just comical. So that's really all there is to say about it. That is the miraculous ladybug. Um, that's the miraculous ladybug. I don't even know what they call it. I think I, I should have had this one prepared. <laughs> I have it right here, actually. I did save a picture of this toy so that I could correctly name it. And this is why you're supposed to, things can't be this spontaneous, you know, just be a little less spontaneous. This is the Miraculous Ladybug Light Wheeled Action Deluxe Doll. Nailed it. All right. So again, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, I hope you had fun looking at that the way I had fun with it. And I will catch you guys soon. Okay. Bye.